Are you sure you're not a Republican? I know. I, know. I, know. I, mean, I, I mean, you, you sounded I, I told you, I couldn't vote Democrat. I really think yeah. there's a group of people called moderate. Welcome back, patriots. I'm here to tell you, today was golden. Um, I mean, all my days are going to be, even the bad days are going to be good out there because I'm going to run into one or two conversations that are worthy. Today was one after another. Boom, 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 boom. Just, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because, you know, maybe because the campaign's heating up, uh, the debates. I don't know what it was. But the conversations I had today you know, are just going to rock you. We're going to rock you. This is just a, a, the, the first one I had, and, and it's it's probably the tamest, but the theme that is hit here, and you're going to find out, and you're going to see, and I, this is recurring over and over again, because uh, I got this, uh, uh, can you pass the Democrat hypocrisy test sign up, right? I have, I'm, they're, they're biting on it. There's a lot of people biting on it. And when I start asking them the questions, what you're going to see is that one after another, even the hardcore liberals are having a hard time swallowing where the Democratic Party is right now. I say, did believe me, it's going to be a miracle if Donald Trump doesn't win by the biggest landslide ever. Because I, I, I believe that even though a lot of these uh, people might not vote for uh, Trump, they are not going to vote for whoever the Democrats put up. So, um, anyway, this is a good one. There's uh, three ladies and uh, one of them professes to be leaning left, but you can see that <laughs> again. It ain't happening. And uh, so, you know, if you like it, you like it. If you care, you share. Uh, do share these things because, you know, they don't want the truth to get out, right? And um, I could need your support. Right? It's not, can I use it? I need it. So um, go to my shop and get one of my designs. Uh, uh, again, subscribestar.com. Badass Uncle Sam, subscribestar.com. Uh, sign up if you're watching me on a regular basis, uh, you know, for a monthly payment. I, you know, $5 a month, you ain't going to do that. For the entertainment that I'm providing here, for the work I'm doing, uh, that's cheap. If you can give more, do that. So I want to thank you. God bless you for stopping by. Uh, hello to the new subscribers. And uh, thank you so much for the longtime people that have been hanging in there for three. This July 4th will be my seventh year. <laughs> oh, God. I don't know if I've held a job for seven years in my life. But, um, so it was my seventh year out there on the streets doing this. And uh, <sighs> she'd be a lot farther than I am, but you know, they're holding us back. So I need your help with that. Share these things, send them out in your emails and your social networks, and please, please, please support me. And if you can't do anything else, pray for me. Okay, see you on the flip side. I'm from Virginia, so we're a very Republican state. Yeah, but... What spot? What spot? I, I usually vote Democrat. My husband usually votes Republican, although I did not vote Democrat in the last election. I voted independent. The test is this. Okay. 
Are you all from Virginia? Are you? No, no she's California, Louisiana. You got a good test. Let me test her. <laughs> yeah, okay. But it's but it's probably conservative. I'm conservative. She's more liberal. Yeah, so, yeah. So. I'm probably somewhere in the middle. Maybe. Yeah, uh, right. Well, they uh, there was uh, now. Okay. You find it hypocritical because. Democrats and liberals seem to be champions of the LPG, whatever, you know, all the time. Okay. Uh, do you find it critical that, you know, transgenders are taking over female athletics and denying women scholarships and first places? I, I'm and winning the sports. Thank yeah, you. I, have, yeah. I have a hard time with that now. I don't like that. Yeah. yeah, so that's pretty hypocritical. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Do you find it hypocritical that socialists are lecturing us on economics? I told my students I teach economics at school, and I actually drew a little thing showing them that with every decision that was currently made, how we were getting closer and closer and closer to socialism. Yes. It really surprised my children. Yeah, I was a little upset about that one too. Are you sure you're not a Republican? I know. I, know. I mean, you sounded demon. I told you, I couldn't vote Democrat. I really think yeah. there's a group of people called moderate. I'm yeah. a moderate. Oh, indeed. Exactly. I'm a yeah, moderate. I think there's a very much a group of people that call it moderate, maybe moderate, moderate, right a little. Yeah. Conservative. conservative. Okay, right. well, what's, the, what's the next one? All right. Do you find it hypocritical that liberals say they care uh, they care for children, but it champion infanticide? It's fantasy. Infanticide. infanticide. After birth abortion. Yeah. Oh, oh, definitely. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah. why we talked about the other day. Okay, I didn't know what that was. That was awful. Yeah, yeah I mean, you know. I had that before, yeah. Do you find it hypocritical that homosexuals lecture us on morals? I, that one's a tough one. That's a tough one, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. I, I think I'm compassion more, on that I'm one. Not, I'm not liking that, but I'm not judging that. That, that one's a hard well, one. Well, I mean, teach his own. It's just that, you know, they seem to trying to be... It's, it's like, look, you want to do what you want to do, but they had, like the other week, they had a family festival here. It was a tomato festival. And then they had the nude bike ride go down here with the, the LPG, festival. you know. Right through the middle of this family event. I mean, when you start championing the deviant, like they have, have you heard about the trainee book tours? Yes. See, she doesn't, she doesn't read any news or look at it. My son is in the quit, and I can't do the news, I can't decipher news, so my way of dealing with it is I watch no news, because then I get upset. Well, so, you should be upset, and you should get upset, and you should do something about it. All right, do you find it hypocritical that de Democrats give more to illegal aliens than they do homeless veterans and Americans? I do have a problem with that one, too. She's a Republican, I, I swear to she God. Just won't change and her you're work. right, the monitor which I'm running into yeah. cannot understand where the right, and that's why they left me. Yeah. You know, the exactly. Democrats left me. They I didn't, was a I didn't. registered Democrat until President Obama's second term. Well, and the problem is, I keep telling my husband, I, I can no longer vote Democrat. Like the last election in my heart, I couldn't vote Democrat because of many issues you have right there. And then I've never really been a Republican, so I think I'm with you. I'm like right in the middle. They yeah. left me. I feel like I'm abandoned. Thank I, you. I, 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 I am opposed to a lot of those things. I feel lost. Like I have yeah. Yeah. No, Did, Are you familiar absolutely. with hashtag walk away? That would be me. Yeah. That, that would def they definitely are losing me. Okay, so is that the last one? And yeah, that's that's pretty much that it. Right? it. I mean, I've got more, but you know, you've already <laughs> passed with flying colors, so I would think yeah, that you are probably uh, leaning more right than you know. Well, my husband is very happy with that because he is a marine, and you see gunfire zones. My house alone has twenty guns locked in a safe. I have forty fishing things. Yeah, he, he yeah. That that all with their all have the same. Yes, he's a oh, very well, fanatic. I mean, responsible. Yeah. I mean, you know, I mean, Do you get much harassment no. from people? No. That's good. They, the, the response I get out here is overwhelmingly positive, yeah. even though this is a liberal cesspool. And, um, <laughs> okay. you know, but yeah. I find that the ones, the, the, the liberals, the, the radical ones, the ones that are still, right, are only brave in numbers. Yeah, I think that's So when they catch one on one like this, they're kind of completely lost because they're really all talking points. They aren't thinking people. Yeah. You know? I think that's true on both ends. They're only radical when they're in their group and when they're alone. Well, that's true, but I don't, yeah. I find, I mean, you don't see any 
conservatives censoring anybody right. these days. Or beating the crap out of people or Thank spitting you. on them in restaurants. Thank you. Yeah. So, yeah. It, you know, it, again, the, the, the socialist agenda. Yeah. You know, I, my kids in school, I actually did show, because we have to teach uh, all the different forms of government and economic mm-hmm. systems and all that. And I actually drew the line, and with every question, you know, you start to figure out where the different countries were. So I actually lined up all the countries, like Australia's here, you know, yeah. Britain, Britain's here, like based on the questions. And Australia has more uh, capitalism yep. than we do right now. And, yes, right now. And my, my students were so I think surprised. It's changing with the new deregulation like we were talking about. And stuff like yeah, there's a new populist movement. That thank yeah. you for that. I mean, yeah. because the idea, of course, being is... Every tyrant, the elites, the ones that really control the corporations and control the governments and then control the military and control us, have always wanted to form a one world government. That has been the dream of every every tyrant, yeah. all the elites since the beginning of time. They I mean, you know, we had we had American corporations funding Hitler. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I mean we this stuff exists. The deep state it has exists. Never gone away. Can go back in time. Thank you very much. I'm so just... glad you're teaching our children. <laughs> I seriously, I am. I, you know, because there's a lot of that comes down on the but education. Again, I'm system. from Virginia. We're a very conservative state. My students yeah. tend to be very conservative. Yeah, I live in the Bible, though. Okay. Yes. So maybe the reason I feel that I'm a liberal is because I live in the Bible. Belt. I'm really <laughs> moderate. Who knows? I just want you to start thinking about some of that stuff a little, like, you know. A a little bit yeah. more trying to see both. It's like California. last night exactly. in the debates, mm-hmm. they asked the, the, yeah, the 10 people up there, they said, uh, right by a raise of hands, who in favor of here is giving full medical care to the illegal aliens? Yeah, right Every one of them raised their hand. I mean, how do we... Most Americans don't even have full... Thank you. How do we justify that? I mean, how do you... That's only going to bring more over here. We have to take over our own house first. How about this? As a teacher, I am... My county is responsible for educating every illegal alien child. Well, I live in Southern California. It is overwhelming. Our our school system. Big part of it's huge. And I don't want those children not to be educated. It sounds horrible. Oh, no, no. But come over legally. Yeah. We, we're we fine with coming over legally. Yes. Well, that's where I think everybody is. Yeah. I think that system's broke. That's yes. what needs to be fixed. And that's I the agree part that not working oh, on doing everything. Yeah. Doing One right. of the things I'm kind of mad at Trump for right now, because he does have the constitutional right, and nobody can stop him from doing it, of putting the full force of the military on the border. What do we have a military for if it is to protect, protect our, our own our country? Yeah. You know, and the fact that he hasn't done this yet is because it's a political suicide. He's, who can, he's, no, we can, no, I don't yeah, think so. Hell with the political suicide. You know this what? is our country we're speaking about. I think he's trying to let no, the Democrats get their own news tighter and tighter and tighter with trying to renegotiate with them, renegotiate with them. I think that's what he's trying to do is show but you can't, America not with these how bad they are. Like, you got the Cortezes now that are in charge, not the uh, Pelosi's. Oh, I know. Yeah. So uh, okay. you cannot so compromise with the Lucy. with the Cortezes. You can't yeah. do it. They, they won't yeah. do it. Anyway. All right. Thank you. Well, so God bless much. you. And here's a here's a get out of jail free card from here's a get out of jail free card from Hillary Clinton for you. <laughs> it's good for any crime in the world. I could not vote for her. I'm so upset. I, I, I appreciate you doing this. That's oh, wonderful. Thank you thank very you. much. Thank yeah. you. Uh, well, I think it's important that we have dialogue. Just that you're out here doing everything. and Yeah. Yeah, but I think after talking to you, obviously the reason I look like a liberal is I live in a conservative state. Maybe yeah. if I win someplace else. <laughs> thank you. Enjoy your day. God bless you, ladies. So what do they say about that? I mean, they can't go where the liberals are now. They just can't do it. The moderate classical liberals can't understand where today's liberal party is. So that's it. God bless you. Thanks for stopping by. And uh, I'll see you soon because I got a lot of good ones coming.